What is a short scar facelift? Okay. It's a nomenclature that I use. It's, it's a little more common among plastic surgeons. It's a procedure that we described, Dr. Tanad, several years ago. It's basically a way of just lifting the jowls mm-hmm. and not really addressing the neck. It does help the neck, but it's, that's not its primary focus. It's just to make it, what I more call it, is a refresher. You just look a little better. The jowls are a little higher. It's not something that you'll look at someone and go, oh, you had a facelift. Yeah, it doesn't do that. It's basically to refresh and make you a little right. It doesn't mean you can't have the full face and neck lift later, but it just may push it down the road farther. So it's a good alternative for people who just need a little bit of refreshing, but not the major retightening. Is that sort of like where we all tend to put our hands close to our 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 jaw and our ears and we pull? Is yep. it there? Is that where you're yes. aiming for? It just, it basically, it's a, the, the, the dog, hound dog, the jowls, it's just lifting that up like that. That's what we do. Now, it does help neck a little bit, but I tell patients it's not meant to do the neck. Now, if there's a lot of excess laxity and fat in the neck, this is not the right procedure. It's, it's someone who's a little younger, has very good skin, and we can tighten it without having to do a lot of aggressive surgery. And is there a lot of scarring with that? Or it says it's a short scar. Yeah, well, it is. <laughs> what okay. does that mean? <laughs> okay, well, that's a good question. The short scar means that it just is in, it goes from the hairline down in front of the ear to the bottom of the ear. Now, in a traditional lift, you use that same scar, but it now goes behind the ear and back into the scalp. That going back behind the ear allows me to get into the neck and do neck procedures. A lot of times people say, well, can I just have my neck done? Well, you can't really separate the neck and the jowl separately. It's kind of one canvas, like I mentioned. You've got to make the canvas blend together. So it's very often you have to go in front of the ear to adjust for that excess skin and you make it smooth it out so it looks smooth and looks like it's all one contiguous canvas, so to speak. And then, so at a consultation, somebody might say, okay, I think I want a short scar facelift and you would look at them and see if that's appropriate or is it maybe better to move to the next step? And what's the next step? Is that a full facelift or? Yeah, well, again, it's what they want. And again, I'm looking at what they're they're willing to go through for what they want to achieve. Now, some people come in and say, I don't want much done. I just want a little mini lift done. Well, it doesn't work for you. That is, it's not the right procedure. And so you have to, I don't want to use the term upsell, but you need to explain to them why the full lift is a much better choice than the other. Sometimes it's, okay, I could do either, but here's the limitations of this. So I like mostly what I was just educating the patient so they understand the decisions I'm recommending, the decisions we're making, and their benefit. But I'm not doing it just to make more money. 